Well, hello there. My name's Jim Stack, and uh, I'm a woodworker. I uh, have been for about 30 years. Uh, been a lot of fun, been a lot of hard work, and uh, my latest uh, creation for my little shop here in, at my house, in my basement, is, uh, and by the way, I have a dry basement. Love it. Uh, <laughs> my shop for 25 years uh, had a lot of water that would come in when it rained. And it's raining today, and I'm dry. Yay! Anyway, this is uh, my new bench, and I made the top out of yellow pine because it's, uh, it's heavy, and uh, yellow pine is very durable, and uh, it works great. So I, I, I glued it together, and then when it was all stabilized and set uh, to where it was going to be in the moisture in the room, uh, then I hand planed it flat, and that's good enough for me. So uh, there you go, there's the top. Probably weighs about 80 to 100 pounds, uh, a good substantial top. And then the base uh, down here is uh, made out of two pieces of uh, two sheets of uh, four by eight three quarter plywood, and I just made a um, the inner the the light the legs interlock with the framework, so it's all very very sturdy. Uh, everything is interlocked with everything, and then on each leg is hollow, and these four runners there's one on each corner obviously uh, attached to this framework and then this framework is what holds the top. Now in between there's nothing so it would probably just drop straight down but what I have inside is a scissors jack and the first uh, uh, experience that I had with the scissors jack I made it out of wood and uh, it broke because <laughs> this is just too heavy. So the next one I uh, put my welding skills to work and I made one out of uh, some good heavy duty 2x2. Two two. It probably overkill but I made it out of uh, square uh, metal tubing, steel tubing, and uh, glued that, or glued it. I welded it all together, yeah, steel glue. And uh, so it rests in the middle, and uh, it's connected by a uh, uh, threaded rod. The threaded rod is right-handed on one side and left-handed on the other end, So, and then I uh, just welded them together so that when it, it works, it'll pull them together evenly and go apart evenly. If it was threaded all the same way, it would they would go the same direction and it would be lopsided when it came up. The pressure would be on more on one end than the other. This way it's equal in the middle. And then when I first started uh, trying to crank it, I had this crank attached to this main shaft and uh, it, was, it was really hard to lift because it is so heavy. So my wife said, hey, why don't you just, uh, you know, put a, break it down and uh, you know, put a ratio, a gear ratio thing on this thing so that you can have a better mechanical advantage. And I said, oh, okay. So I had some bicycle, old bicycle sprockets. I put a big one on here, a smaller one here, so it's about a three to one ratio. And then with the idler in here to keep the chain snug, uh, it works great. So let me show you how this works. Gonna get over here. Now to raise it, I go this way. And once I get it started, I'm okay. Here we go. There we go. And it goes up about, I think every three turns it goes up about a half inch. And it will go all the way to about 42, 43 inches high. So, you know, and anywhere in between. I can obviously, I can stop it anywhere and, you know, whatever would be good for what I'm working on. But when I get it to the, uh, up really high, here we go, my cotter pin kind of makes a little noise in the back side, but that's when we get it up to about this high, which is bar height, 42, 43 inches, then I can do my close-up work because uh, my eyes are old, my back's old, and so this way uh, I can see better what I'm doing. I can stand and it's right here and it works great. Like for when I'm fretting guitars, uh, doing carving, any close-up work like that, it's great. And if I wanted to do any planing or sanding, it wouldn't be a problem. This thing is just as solid as a rock, whether it's up or whether it's down because these four legs fit very snugly in the legs. I've got them waxed up, they just move up and down. Slowly, doesn't have to be anything fast. And uh, there we go. That's my new adjustable height bench. I love it. 